should have had this already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you gotta be careful, it's heavy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is all about Father's Day. It actually is not Father's Day, it's the Thursday before Father's Day, but we are getting Father's Day gifts ready, specifically a craft I have to do, and then Matt requested for dessert this weekend cheesecake bars, so we're gonna do that. And for Father's Day morning, he wants cinnamon rolls. And that's all he's told me so far. So that's what the game plan is for Father's Day. And hopefully we do something relaxing. I feel like we never actually relax on the weekends. I'm hoping that's what we end up doing. Today is Thursday, like I said, it's beautiful weather today in Virginia. It's only gonna be a high of maybe 80. So because of that, I wanna do our craft today. So I'm gonna show you what we got Matt for Father's Day 2021. So I got him this really cool pop-up card on Amazon. Okay, Paula's distracted by Whoopi. Okay, so like I said, I got him a cute card and this pops out, it's like a three-dimensional card. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I just thought it was really cute. We have to write in that, that's not a big deal. And then I got Matt this shirt off of Amazon that says Dada. Matt can never have too many t-shirts. So I got him that. And then the other thing that we got him is our craft. I got this from Etsy, I'll list the shop below. So it's this plate that says Dad's Grilling Plate and then it says Paul 2021. And you'll notice it is blank here because what we are going to do is, I don't know why I signed myself up for this. I'm gonna take Paul's hand and put it in some washable paint. I'm hoping to use yellow, orange, and red if I'm lucky and do handprints and those are the flames. And then I'm gonna let that dry. And then I got Mod Podge dishwasher safe gloss. So it's it'll seal the plate so you can use it. And then this is ready for Father's Day. I'm not gonna lie, I am dreading doing this because I feel like it's gonna make such a mess. And I did a craft for Halloween using his footprint in this and it was a total pain in the butt. And he fought me on it, was like curling his toes and screaming. He was a lot younger then, so hopefully this works out well. I was thinking about putting a sheet out outside and letting him just kind of play in the play, the play in the paint and then I you know steal a hand here and there to put on this I'm sorry let me rephrase that it's so nice outside I was hoping to go outside get paper plates put some of the paint in at color one by one and just let him like paint on the sheet then every now and then put one here I think it is also bath day so uh, I don't know. I don't know how much of a mess this is gonna make. And he's also being a little bit of a butthead today, to be completely honest. At some point we're doing this craft. It's happening. <laughs> Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Okay, not nearly as messy as I thought it was gonna be. It doesn't necessarily <laughs> look like handprints, but it's still adorable. So I'm gonna let this completely dry and then probably tomorrow I'm gonna put the ceiling stuff on top of it and then that's ready to wrap up for Sunday. So it's the next day and Paul's little plate has dried. It doesn't really look like handprints, but it's pretty darn cute if I do say so myself. What I'm going to do, cause that's the washable paint, obviously, I would think as soon as you get it wet, it's gonna come off. I found this stuff. It's Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe Gloss. And I guess I'm just gonna paint it on. I wanted to do it early because it is Juneteenth 
here in the United States and they just made it a federal holiday. So because of Matt's job, that means he's home, but he actually went in for this morning. So I have to do this before he comes home. So I think my plan of attack is just to do this top part of the plate with the pattern. And then the back is just, you know, like a plate. I have a dog towel here. So hopefully this doesn't get all over the place. And then I have the Mod Podge and a little foam sponge thing. Okay, so that went pretty well. What I was afraid of is the paint that I used was Crayola washable, and I was afraid that the Mod Podge, just the liquidness of it, would make it bleed, and it did a little bit. So I went heavy, and it's pretty gloppy looking. I'm hoping that smooths out as it sets, and I'm just gonna keep applying. I'll probably let that one sit for two hours, and then I'll do a second coat, and we'll just be really careful with it. <laughs> We use it. I'm gonna let this dry. And then in a little bit, we're making the cheesecake bars. I already have the cream cheese and two eggs sitting on the counter waiting for me. So we'll do those at some point today. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do these cheesecake bars. That is the dessert Matt requested this weekend for Father's Day. So I made these really detailed in another video. I'll link that below. Um, and I'll talk to this really quick. I like to do mine in the food processor, but then since I got this, mixer i've been doing it not mixer blender in the blender versus a mixer because whenever i do it in the mixer i get like little blips of cream cheese i don't know what i'm doing wrong so i just always do mine in the blender i also really like crust so i up my crust when i do cheesecake bars so that was an entire package or sleeve of graham crackers and then i'm just gonna get this going i have a quarter cup of butter melting in the oven Okay, so I melted my butter almost in the oven. This is a quarter cup of unsalted butter. And then two tablespoons of sugar. I just eyeball it. And then just blitz this till it mixes. And then just dump all of this into your crust. And then you know I love this OXO. I think it's technically a cookie spatula. It works so well for stuff like this. So just flattening this out. And then this curved end gets into the Pyrex corners like perfectly. So I'm just gonna pack this down. I don't pre-bake mine at all. I just put the filling right on top. Let me just scoot this out of the side. And now my least favorite part is opening these. So two blocks of cream cheese. And then for the sour cream, it's a quarter cup, which is four tablespoons. So I just put four little blobs in there. Half a cup of white sugar, and I just use these OXO scoops. You can tell this recipe is very precise. And then two eggs. And then two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I'm just gonna blitz this for a few minutes till it's all combined. So that looks perfect. Now I'm just gonna pour that right on top of the crust and scrape every single thing out of this blender. Okay, just smooth that out. And I did not clean the blender, so there's little bits of graham cracker in there. Fine. And sometimes I cook this in a water bath, sometimes I don't, I'm not feeling it. So I'm gonna do this in the oven, 325 for about 30 minutes. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. you